Coach, just uh, tell me what's going through your head when you realized that uh, Vidovich would not be coaching tonight and you had to step in to take that role. Just tell me about the whole experience. Um, for me, it was the, the scout was done. The work was done with the guys. It was really just managing the game, right? And um, we put the preparation in before we knew that Jay was going to be out of this game. And um, really, I've been with him for seven years. So for me, it's just follow the plan. The guys follow the plan and you know, hopefully execute like we did tonight. And obviously the preparation paid off, second uh, top 10 victory in a row. How confident does this make you guys for the rest of the season, just starting off with these two victories? I mean, it's a great start, right? Two, two games against two very quality opponents, two wins, both at home. We've got a very difficult game on Friday night against Marshall on the road, and continue to challenge ourselves, you know what I mean? Uh, for me, I think we could have put those guys away a little bit more even at times, right? Um, so how, how we can get back to work and figure that out and uh, just get prepared for Friday. Everything on our schedule is a challenge. So uh, we've started well and we just got to continue to work to, you know, uh, go game by game. You guys started out great, starting out 3 nothing in the first half, but you stayed defensive as well, making sure that West Virginia didn't get many chances. Tell me who really stood out for you tonight on your team. Uh, I mean, for me, it was a collective effort, right? Uh, guys from the front press, guys from the back defended. Um, you know, we used uh, 10 guys off the bench, right? So, you know, you, you're talking about a squad and you're talking about a group of guys that uh, collectively went after it. You know, the injection of some of those substitutes, you know, uh, helped finish out the job. So. For me, it was a team effort. It wasn't really an individual that stood out or shined for me as part of the whole thing. And I want to talk about a little bit about the uh, the backyard brawl. Obviously, I, I, I was just talking with Lucas. I think most of the attention is always centered around the football game. How does it feel to have that kind of support from from your fans tonight? Just a massive crowd and, and be able to put up that kind of show for them. Yeah, I mean the support that we've gotten over the years has continued to grow. I mean, in our two games, we've you know, we set a tennis record last week, and this is a fantastic crowd. I mean, without them behind us, right, uh, it, it's a different game. But, you know, continue to play this game, which is a very good soccer game, and, and, and win this year, which we did in last year, right, it's, it's just put it back in the right foot. So uh, we need the fans each and every week. Uh, we're, we're extremely excited that they're there and supporting us, and hopefully we can continue to back the practice as well as year goes on. The end this Friday, you take on number 14 Marshall. Just tell um, tell us about how you're going to prepare for that game and uh, what are you looking to correct them tonight, if anything. I think that. the first thing is getting these guys to recover, right? Tonight, uh, tomorrow, having some time to get their bodies back and as a coaching staff dive into this game and see what we can work on and fix and then take a look at what challenges Marshall has as a, a top team. You know, won their first game the other night, 5 0 against VCU. and played another game tonight, so we'll have some time to break them down and, and hopefully uh, formulate a plan to, to get a win.